Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy. I'm from Singapore and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Steinhardt Ocean 39 GMT Melon. This watch here is a new release from Steinhardt and as the name implies, Melon obviously refers to this green fruity bezel insert over here and obviously this watch here is for people who like green color like this guy over here, George, right? he loves green. So we all know that Steinhardt, they're famous for making homage watches. They tend to make look-alike watches of, you know, more expensive brands out there. But this one here, I would rate it as a totally new look or a new colorway because I think this whole green, two-tone green bezel over here is so refreshing and does look very fruity to me. And before I continue with my review, I'd like to take some time to thank our boutique and the man in charge at our boutique, Mr. Eric Lee. Thank you for so generously loaning me all these watches for my videos. So in terms of specifications, I would say this one here, you know, it doesn't differ very much from the standard 39 millimeter GMT model. It's got a case size of 38 millimeters, but the bezel over here is wider than the case, as you can see from here. All right, so the bezel jets out a little bit. And as a result, this is often labeled as a 39mm case only because the bezel itself is 39mm. Total thickness for the watch is 14.1mm from the base of this case back here. It is not display case back and from this base here to the top of the dome sapphire crystal 14.1mm. We've got a lug width of 20mm and again you know strap fans out there they're gonna have a good time changing straps and we've also got a very manageable LTL distance. This one comes in at 47.2 millimeters. So I think, you know, for this 39 millimeters Steinhardt Ocean series, I think they're a clear winner because the watch is so wearable. The dimensions are just spot on. So the Ocean 39 GMT, of course, being a Swiss made watch, it houses either the ETA 2893 or Salita SW330. It depends on which badge you're getting or depends on movement availability and all that and finally this watch here is rather affordable for a swiss made gmt it goes for just under 1200 singapore dollars and of course you can get this watch from our boutique and now let's spend some time and talk about the case build quality of the steinhardt i think this one here is just in line with the other steinhardt models i've reviewed recently i would say the build quality here is very good for the money you're paying for I have seen many watches that cost a little bit more but the quality is not quite on par with this one here. Alright, so the brushing, the finishing here is, I would say it's good for the money. And what I like about this watch is the bracelet here is really nice. It's got female end links, screw-in links, screw-in pins and male clasp and all that. And I'd say this one here contributes to the overall wearing experience and the wearability of this watch. So even the bezel feel here. This watch is really good. The clicks are very precise, very audible. And we've also got this convex sapphire bezel over here. And I think it just looks great. It looks like a donut. <laughs> the overall bezel and bezel insert, this part here looks like a donut. And I would say, again, you know, it fits the vintage vibes very well. So the winding here on this movement here is really smooth. And you will notice here the movement does have this GMT hand done in the same shade of green as the bezel and this GMT hand here is slave to the hour hand this Mercedes looking hour hand all right so thereby making this one not a true GMT watch to be honest I don't know what it means because <laughs> I never use the GMT hand on any watch normally I would use the world time function on my G-Shocks for that and in terms of wearability this watch here is just a winner Despite the height coming in at about 14.1 millimeters, this watch remains very wearable. I guess it's because of the small proportions and dimensions here, especially linked to the bracelet. Okay, so this one here tapers from 20 to 16 at the clasp, and it's got female end links. So this one here definitely improves on the wearability. Mm. You definitely don't feel the full effect of the 14.1 millimeters case height. And I'm going to share with you what I think about the overall dial design and color of this Steinhardt melon over here. I really love this two-tone green bezel. I think 
This could be the reason why you want to sit up and look at this watch because it just makes you feel so happy, gives off these happy vibes. At the same time, it looks so good and has that vintage vibes of the older four digit subs. So I'll go as far as to say that this watch here, every time I look at it, it gives me this fruity kind of look. Okay, I know the name is called Melon, but in fact, I feel like I'm looking at Kiwi or Avocado. In line with the vintage looks of the watch here, this one here on the dial has got egg white finish. All right, it's not quite pure white, but it's also not eggshell, all right? So the markers here are done in sort of ecru, whereas the dial here is egg white as listed by Steinhardt. And I think this shade of white here really gives off this very old school retro feel to it. I also like the fact that they've kept the markers rather small. So this is not a maxi dial kind of a diver. And now let's have a look at the loom shot of this Ocean GMT Melon. I really love this entirely loom bezel insert. I think more watches should be doing this. It looks so good here and the overall loom quality here is, I would say is very bright and very good. And now let's do a size comparison between the Ocean GMT 39 and the Tudor BB50. So both watches, they have very similar dimensions, around 39 millimeters case size. I would go as far as to say even the luck design, the bracelet, dimensions they are very very similar 20 tapering to 16 the only difference being the thickness all right so the bb58 is noticeably thinner at around 12 millimeters so the steinhardt here does have a really cool mid case that sort of makes the watch look a little bit thinner of course it's high dome sapphire crystal adds on to the overall thickness of the watch but in terms of dimensions wearability and the feel i would say both watches are very very similar so all in all i would say the steinhardt melon ocean 39 gmt here it's a really fun watch uh, not too expensive i understand that it's over a thousand singapore dollars but think about it it's a swiss made watch i would think for the money you're paying it is pretty well made and i think this bezel color and the overall vintage looks and color combination would make any watch collector very happy by just looking at it okay i immediately get the fun and sort of fruity vibes whenever i look at this watch and it just puts a smile to my face and that was my really quick review of the steinhardt ocean 39 melon okay so george here is asking me not to return the watch to eric after this review but i really gotta tell george sorry george i got to disappoint you no more green watches for me for the time being all right until the next video, this is Andy. We are in Singapore and together with George, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.